How's it going everyone? Sean Carlson here. I am a freelance Brooklyn-based artist here in my home studio about to start a brand new painting. I had a client reach out to me a couple weeks ago, uh, saw this Biggie Smalls piece I did uh, a while back, which I'll show you now, and uh, wanted something sort of similar as a uh, gift for his friend for his birthday. The friend happens to be a big fan, just like me, of Jay-Z. After talking it over a while with the client, finally I settled on these two different ideas, these two different sketches I sent him. One that sort of showed the, you know, lyrical, musical genius of Jay-Z, you know, how he's got that mystique about him where he doesn't write anything down, everything's all in his head. That was one idea. Idea sketch number two was the, you know, business entrepreneurial mogul billionaire that he's become over the years. Um, is he a billionaire? I think, he, I think he's a billionaire. I think so. Him and Beyonce together are definitely worth a billion. Let's see, Jay, let's see. Let's look that up. Jay-Z net worth. Okay. As of 2020, according to Forbes, Jay-Z net worth exactly $1 billion. Wow. Way to go, Hova. And all that from just selling drugs. Or apparently he also makes music. I don't know. I'm not familiar. Anyway, so after talking that over, sending it to the client, he chose option two. I just picked up the canvas from the art store yesterday. Everything's all set and ready. Let's get painting. So I got really lucky with this piece as I found the perfect reference of him. Uh, it had this really strong light source and very solid lights and darks which really carved out the features of his face. Uh, you can see me getting started here with the dark colors first because I knew exactly where they were and how well they would illustrate the forms and what colors I wanted to use. As for the light and mid-tones though, I gotta be honest, I didn't have much of a plan on what colors I wanted to use. So I just sort of laid down a few warm colors with a medium and light value, thinking that it would just be an underpainting and would be covered up later on. But uh, as I went along with it, I really liked the result and decided to run with it. One of the joys about doing a large portrait, something of this size, is that you have a lot of room to sort of play around and sneak in little experimental colors and blending techniques without losing the recognizable face once you step back and look at the whole piece. <clears throat> Alright, so here we are so far, end of day one, it's around... 1:45 a.m. Happy with the day's work so far. The face is not bad. Gotta, gotta fix that hand though. The hand needs. I, I gotta, I gotta take another reference of it to get the lighting just right. But face, I'm pretty happy with, uh, especially for a first pass. Getting a little experimental with the colors. It feels solid. It resembles him, and obviously that's the uh, main bulk of the work that I gotta do. So happy about that so far. Calling it a night. See you tomorrow.
So I started the day with, as you can see, a completely new hand. The first one wasn't bad, but I couldn't quite nail down the shading of it, and after looking at it with fresh eyes the next day, the cigar was cartoonishly too big, so I just decided to scrap it and start again. Uh, I had a similar issue with an M&M piece I did a while back, so I guess I have trouble when it comes to painting rappers' hands, which is an oddly specific thing to struggle with, but here we are. You can see me adding in here some more work to the face, both making it feel more opaque and figuring out what colors to place where so it resembles a skin tone and shades his face accurately. Uh, I laid down a sort of golden and bronze yellow first and then on top of that added in the oranges, pinks, and lavenders to really flush it out. The eyes are always the first and most prominent thing you look at in a portrait, so you see me here taking some special care and subtly rendering them. Uh, the eyes are the windows to the soul is a common phrase you might have heard, uh, the origin of which is actually still unknown as it's been cited by Cicero, the Bible, and Shakespeare. <clears throat> okay, so this is where we are so far on Jay-Z. I am loving the face. Very much happy with how that's coming out. Hating the background. When I first put the color together on the palette, wet, it had a bit more gray to it and was not as baby blue as this is kind of coming to be. Um, but you know, when I first laid it down, I thought, okay, I could, I could live with it. I could, you know, get around it. But the more and more time I spend working on this, it's, it's gotta go. So, I'm gonna do something I've never done before. Uh, halfway through the painting, whole background uh, is gonna change. I'm gonna change the color. This blue is too, it's too saturated. It's too much of a distraction. I want something a little more neutral for the face to sort of pop and sing on top of and not have the background be the focus. But a lot of work, but I got a little bit of time on a bit of a deadline crunch for uh, this uh, commission, but I got enough time and I think I'll be able to bang it out. So let's get to work. First test for the new background color. All right, so liking it better, uh, but I think this is the, uh, a bit darker and you know more, a little more color neutral. It's got a little bit of green in, in it, but uh, the yellow and sort of golden brown of his face, I think it'll pop off of that background or th this background a little bit better. So back on track, gonna start working on his uh, nice vest, tie, and suit, and then uh, then the hands and sort of the the end is in sight. So let's keep going. In this stage, I still had a good bit of work to do on the hand, uh, mainly on that cast shadow from the cigar where it's falling on his fingers and knuckles. It took a few tries to get right, but I was pretty happy with the end result. Uh, as for the suit vest and shirt, that was also something that took a few tries to get right. Uh, on my digital sketch, I went through a whole bunch of different color options after finally settling on blue for two reasons. One being that's the color I most often found him wearing in pictures and photo reference, and two, because he's a New York native, Yankees fan, and as he said in Empire State of Mind, he bleeds blue. Uh, when handling the wardrobe, I wanted to go as subtle as possible. Because the face and hand are the obvious focus of the piece, he has a nice vest, tie, and shirt as a status symbol to the viewer, but that shouldn't be where your eye falls first when looking at it. So, approaching the end here... This is uh, what the setup for the very last part, the splatter effect, looks like. Uh, I've got all of my, you know, 
all about getting the right mixture between paint and water so it's liquid and flows. But before we do all that, I'm gonna set the mood. Yeah. Oh! Thank you, thank you! Do you remember? Oh. Do you want more? Cooking raw with the Brooklyn Bullets. Oh, God, what a, what a time. Can't play it too loud unless YouTube demonetizes me. What an album. All right, let's get started. At this stage, I think we're good. I think it's just about done. So let it dry, then hit it with a coat of varnish. <clears throat> we'll be good to go. Alright, and here we have the finished painting of Hova. Hope you all enjoyed it. I was trying something new with this piece where if you look at it from a distance, it appears as if he's got sort of the normal skin tone that you would expect to see in this kind of painting. However, when looking at a close up, there's sort of a little trick where that skin tone is comprised of bright oranges and yellows and blues and purples and reds that all sort of make it work on those two different levels from a distance and close up. So hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to let me know what you think down in the comments. And if you enjoyed both the painting and the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future stuff. I'll see you in the next one.